a little something about Raymond. He's an investor in stocks and rentals. He wants no money from you, no bait and switch, nothing. Here's what he's going to do. He's going to log into his personal account, share real estate property documents, and give you suggestions on what to read. All right, if you guys are looking at this video on YouTube, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. We are going to log into my 401k, and I'm going to show you guys how to sell and buy a fund. So let's jump in here. And hopefully you guys had a good trading day because today was good for me. All right. I'm at my Fidelity homepage in my 401k. And if your 401k is with Fidelity, you should see something very similar to what I see once you log in. Of course, if you are not an employee of General Electric or past employee, you're not going to see this GE stuff up here. You should see your company. And if you have a 401k and it's not with Fidelity, you won't be able to follow everything I click on, but everything that I state to you will still apply no matter where your 401k is. So we're going to go into this GE 401k. And I'm going to show you guys how to sell and buy. So let's make the screen bigger. All right, no glasses needed. So what we want to do, we want to click on investments. And then we click on change investments. And we want to go right here to exchange one investment. So let me, let me baseline everyone. What I'm showing you in this video assumes that you already logged into your 401k and you have investments that you're in. And what you want to do is you want to learn how to sell and buy a new investment. So that's what I'm showing you. In another video, I talked about this tab, Change Investment Elections. As you can see, this says Future Investments. Here it says Current Investments. So there's another video telling you how to set up future investments. What this means is that you have a 401k and you have money in your 401k and you want to tell Every pay period, when that money goes into your 401k, you want to say, these are the investments you go into. This is what I like. This is what I think I'm going to make money in, these particular funds, whatever you picked. Current investments, what we're doing today is saying you already have the investment set up and you want to do a swap. Swap one investment for another. So we're doing a sell and then a buy. You cannot do only a sale. You have to do a sale and buy. So we're going to click on exchange one investment. And just let me be clear. I, I, I can't assume uh, everything, especially if you guys are new. You need to already know what you want to sell and buy. So you're already going to you know, do your homework and go into your 401k and start reading about the different investments. And I have videos on everything to guide you step by step of what to look at, what you can ignore and all that good stuff. So I, I am assuming that before you do any of the stuff that I'm showing you, you already know what you want to sell and what you want to buy. Just common sense. All right, so it says choose investment to sell. I have three available, so click on start. And here's my balance in each of these funds. So I have money in my large cap. I have money in my U.S. equity. I have money in my short term. And I have money in my tips index. 
I can't do anything with the small cap index and I can't do anything with the short term um, investment fund. And the reason I can't is because I went in earlier today and I was making some swaps with these two. So because of that, I can't do anything until the close of business tomorrow, which would be Wednesday. I can go in and do more uh, changes. One more thing before I keep going in this video. Uh, it's going to get easy and I'm going to start clicking on stuff. But I have to explain a lot of things to you guys. To, right now it's 6.06 .06 p.m. So the normal market hours are over for the stock exchange. The normal hours are from 9.30 a.m. to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So of course right now I'm in my 401k making changes. These changes that I'm re requesting, so I'm requesting to make an order. That's what I'm about to show you. And after I make that request, the order will not go through the system until close of business the next trading day. So nothing's going to happen tonight. When I say sell, the sell is not going to happen as soon as I click the sell button. Tomorrow morning when the market opens at 930, it's still not going to sell. Whenever you're doing anything in your 401k, that sale does not go through until the close of business. So tomorrow, which is Wednesday, when the market closes, whatever the value is then, that's what I'm selling at. And whatever the value is then at 4 o'clock p.m. tomorrow, that's what I'm buying at. A disadvantage to that is, let's say the market was open, and let's say it's in the middle of the trading day, and all hell breaks out in the stock market. And I want to, I'm jumping into my 401k saying, whoa, you know what? I want to pull my money out, and I want to, I, I don't want to be anything risky. I want to put my money somewhere safe where it's not going to continue to fall. Well, like I just told you, when you come in and do all this stuff that I'm about to show you in the video, it's not going to happen until close of business. So that's the trade-off in the 401k uh, plan, and that's any plan. It, it's, it's not unique to Fidelity. Nothing happens until close of business. Let's compare that to my IRAs that I have at TD Ameritrade. And you can have the IRAs with Fidelity or any place. Whenever you have an IRA and you go to buy and sell, as soon as you click on the buy or sell button, it happens right then and there. That does not happen in a 401k. All right. That was very important for me to say. So let's keep it moving. All right. So what do I want to sell? I want to sell some US large cap index. I have almost 200,000. I don't want to sell the entire 200,000. This was on percentage. We have two ways to sell. We have percentage and we have a dollar sign. Percentage means I'm going to put in a percent of how much I want to sell. So I can put 100% and I'm going to sell everything. I could put 50% here and I'm going to sell half of it. If you're not good with percentages, you can click on here, dollar amount, and you can look at what you have and you can just put whatever dollar amount to sell. So I already did some math. I know I want to sell $97,224.50. So let me type that in. So that's the amount I want to sell. You have to click on all eligible sources. If you don't click on this, you're going to get an error. So this is something you always have to click on. And we're going to hit continue. So here's a recap. I'm selling 
U.S. large cap equity index, all eligible sources, the amount is $97,224.44. If I made a mistake, I can click on edit. Now it's asking me to buy. I have 22 choices available. So I'm going to click on start. This is already checked for you. You don't have to do anything. Show funds. It says all. So it's going to show you everything. I never do anything up here. I just leave it just the way it is. Then you scroll down and you start to buy whatever it is you want to buy. I am making an assumption that you did your homework before you start doing what I'm showing you now. You need to know what you want to sell and what you want to buy. So before you uh, do any of this, of course, all that is figured out. You really don't want to figure it out. Well, I don't like to figure it out right now. I like to go in, do my homework, and just say, let me click, 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 and keep it moving. So I want to buy, I want to take this money, up here and I want to buy this investment US mid cap equity index so I'm going to scroll down to continue all right selling this buying this it says submit this change and here Highlighted is everything I told you earlier. Your transaction will not happen until the next business day's closing. And whatever price it is, then is what you're going to sell or buy at. Submit this change. Your exchange has been submitted. I have a confirmation number. And that's it. It's as easy as that. I did a lot of talking because I had to explain a lot of things. But this could have happened in 45 seconds. I would have logged in, already did my homework, click, 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 and bam, I'm finished. All right, stocksandrentals.com. As you see, I make my money in the stock market and my rentals. I would never ask you for anything. The purpose that I make these videos for is for you and to show you that you can make money in the stock market and rentals. I am proof that it's not fake. If I can do it, you can do it better. Stocksandrentals.com. Peace.